It is funny because the value of podcasting, the thing I love the most about podcasting, the real money and power and excitement of podcasting doesn't come from ads. Yeah, it's great if you can sell a mattress. And I bought a mattress as a result of a podcast. But what's fascinating about podcasting has always been for me, this new media platform and what it does for our audience and what it does for us entrepreneurs. So in putting together a presentation, I actually had some content that's going to be removed from the presentation. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I would do this episode of the podcast report about this very topic. So the idea, the thing that I was asked to speak about, if you will, was just the idea or the list of five reasons why entrepreneurs could consider podcasting to see big jumps. And I think a couple of things are really interesting here. Entrepreneurs seeing big jumps. So first of all, the entrepreneur part, I don't consider someone who makes a podcast to sell ads to get famous. They're, they're not an entrepreneur. They're a person who wants to get famous, a person who wants to sell ads. An entrepreneur tends to be someone who, who creates something and sells something. There could be some uh, argument. There could be some debate that all podcasters are entrepreneurs at best. But I'm, I think by entrepreneur, I want to go to a very specific segment of the podcasting space and basically speak to those who want to use podcasting as a means to do more for their business, not make it the business, but the means to do more for the business. In many ways, the podcast report is a means for us to do more with the podcast partnership, my company. I notice there's no ads in here. We've played with ads in the past and who knows, we might do something in the future. But at this point, there's no ads. But the fact of the matter is we're leveraging the podcast to make these big jumps to bring people into the podcast partnership fold. In some ways, it's checking out technology like I've been doing lately with this live broadcast of everything. In other ways, it's the examining of content like I'm doing in this particular episode. And in other ways, it's just getting the general message out. So five reasons why entrepreneurs could consider podcasting to see big jumps. The first one, and this has been podcasting since day one, and I think it's really important. Your audience, anytime, any place, any device. See, I'm doing this live and it's fun to see the numbers and it's fun to see who's in here. And if you're in here, say hi. But specific place and time, I think I recorded this at 2.30 on a Wednesday afternoon. Making people come to you on your terms has never been that viable of a thing. Now, sometimes the space-time continuum dictates that you put a time on it, but making people come on your terms has never been viable, never been a good thing. That's why McDonald's now is offering breakfasts at 8 o'clock at night. Reaching audience at any time, any place. They don't have to be in front of their computer watching a computer screen like those of you who are watching it now live. They could be in the car listening with ear pods or on the speaker. They could be in a plane or they could be on the treadmill or they could be doing the dishes. They could be doing any number of things. See, any time, cool. Any place, cool. My computer right now that I'm recording this on has a lot of screens up in front of me. And the fact of the matter is I turned off notifications, very smart thing to do when you do a podcast, but there's a lot of things that I can do only here, but a podcast I can listen to anytime, any place. And then the last thing that's truly important is in reaching your audience as an entrepreneur, reaching your audience, anytime, any place, any device. I happen to have the hot new iPhone because that's how I roll. That's what I do, but I have friends. I have clients with iPhones that are five years old. I have clients who aren't in the Apple infrastructure. I have clients who watch me on their TV. I have others who listen on their computer, some on their tablet, some on their laptop. But because it's podcasting, because it's anytime, any place, any device, we're in a good place. And, you know, there's almost a fourth element of any of the networks. This idea of being a Spotify exclusive or only on Apple or whatnot is absolutely ridiculous. So in the entrepreneur who wants to make a big jump, the idea, the thought of reaching your audience anytime, any place, any device is the makings of a really big jump. The next thing that entrepreneurs need to think about is entrepreneurs, especially in today's age, we are despite who we are information companies, we have to produce content for our people, what it is that we do, what it is that we produce, why it is that we are different, what it is that we can do for you. We need to produce content. And many times that content for companies is produced by planning meetings and round robins and first and second drafts. And if you're seeing the video, you're seeing the boredom in my eyes. If you're listening just to the audio of this, because you are any time, any place, any device, you can hear the boredom in my voice. But the fact of the matter is I'm recording 
this content right now as a podcast and bam, it's quickly done. I have six minutes and 42 seconds into the live broadcast. Uh, those of you who are listening to the recording podcast version of this, it's a little bit done at the beginning, but the fact of the matter is this content is being made for lack of a better term, real time. And it is really exciting to have this fast content production made available. And what's fun is despite when I've done, more people have listened to the podcast report than have bought my books or have read my medium articles or even, I know, been to my blog, rapid content, fast content production. Podcasting makes that so cool. Now, the next thing for entrepreneurs, and this is funny because this is not done in podcasting enough. The next thing for entrepreneurs is tracking and stats that make for a strategic refining. We've chatted about this in many past episodes of the show. I know what you listen to. I know what episodes you open up. I know how far you go. In a couple of weeks after I release this episode, we'll see if these five things was enough to maintain the audience. Interesting tidbit, watching the live people. I've got more people staying on this than I have past episodes. So I think that is interesting. But when it comes down to it, we'll have the numbers. We'll know what works and we'll see if the audience is in fact entrepreneurs looking to make more with their podcast. So when you look at the stats and when you do the tracking, and this is not downloads, the amount of times I get a call, phone call, I want to increase my downloads. I'm going to increase my downloads. First of all, I can buy you downloads offshore, really cheap. They're, they're not real. You don't want a download. You want impact. And if you track the stats and if you look at the numbers, and if you make sense of all these things, you can get into some really interesting strategic refining that you pretty much can't get anywhere else. Number one, reach your audience anytime, any place, any device. Number two, fast content production. Number three, tracking and stats makes for very strategic refining. Number four, as seen on Apple, Amazon, Audible, Spotify, Pandora. I once heard Dan Sullivan from Strategic Coach say that I treat Amazon as a collaborator. We get the capability for nothing. Yeah. We see Apple as a collaborator, Amazon as a collaborator, Audible as a collaborator, Spotify as a collaborator, Pandora as a collaborator, and platform after platform are collaborators. I'm sure there's some microphone, uh, Microsoft phones left out there. They're my collaborator. I'm sure, I know there are people listening to podcasts on Blackberries, even though I can't understand why they are a collaborator. And so by being seen in all these places, by having outbound links from all of these websites to being truly found wherever find podcasts are found in amazing place. So really that beginning, that anytime, any place, any device, really anytime, any place, any device, really to add to that fourth, any place you get audio. This is amazing. Any place I get audio. For those of you who've listened to the show for a while, my origin story is I met Don Katz from Audible and I had this vision for Audible and I was enthralled. I was ecstatic at the time they had 80 something percent of all the audio media players in the world. I, I, that just blew my mind that there'd be such continuity across everything yet podcasting with the MP3 codec were every single device, every single network. So to think of as seen on Apple, as seen on Amazon, as seen on Audible, so that's just the A's guys. Directory after directory is really cool. And the fact of the matter is we get that capability for nothing. Now, yes, YouTube wants to sell your audience to your competition and Spotify wants to put ads up against you. And, and there's some things you want to think about when you do this. But the fact of the matter is you are on all of those platforms. That's very cool. And if you don't leverage that for big jumps, you're doing something really wrong. Now, the last of the five points to see big jumps as an entrepreneur, and if you joined us late, you might want to rewind and listen to the setup for this, but assets that work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to bring you new clients. Susan, the entrepreneur, this is amazing. If you're doing a podcast this week in potato chips this week, you're just talking about this week and nobody goes back to see what the 2018 potato chip status was, but a good podcast designed by a smart entrepreneur who's tracking these things and is refining these things, knows that they'll create content based for the future. We say assets, not episodes. You've heard me chat about that. I was looking at the numbers for a client. Um, they haven't done a new episode of the podcast all year, yet over a hundred thousand downloads, not bad. Assets that were 24 by 365. We track one thing we call the new content ratio, which I know really exciting is a 
ratio of new content. We have clients that in any given month, less than one out of every five downloads for the podcast, less than one out of every five downloads for the podcast is ready for this old podcast content. So it's not just an episode that works this week until the next. It's an episode that works for a long time. Take a look at this episode. Five things about podcasting that can bring big entrepreneurial jumps. I'm not chatting about five things about podcasting that could bring big entrepreneurial jumps during the time of COVID or in Biden's America or in the news right now, it's about to be released that Facebook might change their name. These jumps are solid and good for a long time. And, and a big company might come up to play that where I might be able to la add to that collaborator list or that type of thing, or a new stat might come into play that lets me do more strategic refining, or a new tech might come into play that lets me reach even more of my audience. But the fact of the matter is this content here is solid. This content will be listened to and consumed for the years to come. So it works 24 by 365. It works across to all these networks and it works for a long time to come. As an entrepreneur, this stuff makes me salivate. So quick review and then we'll hang up and then I'll, uh, I'll do whatever's left live for the people who are listening live. If you are watching live and you got a question, go ahead and pop that up and, and we'll go from there. So again, the top five things for a podcast, that's the entrepreneur take jumps. Again, I don't want to bicker about who the entrepreneur is, but I'm talking about the entrepreneur who has a business and is using podcasting to bring more to their business. Reaching your audience anytime, any place, any device. Fantastic. Fast content production. We're in a content age. We need to produce content and this is done. And in just a few minutes from now, this will not only be across all these networks, but will be on the podcast channel as well, cleaned up and done. Tracking and stats that let me strategically refine everything I'm doing. Fantastic. Being able to see a scene on Apple, Amazon, Audible, Spotify, Pandora, Google, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All these people are in fact my collaborators. And I didn't pay a dime to make that happen. And then finally, last but not least, uh, definitely not least, assets that work 24 by 365 to bring you new clients. This is the podcast report at thepodcastreport.com. You can subscribe to the podcast report going to thepodcastreport.com slash Apple slash Amazon slash Audible slash Spotify slash Pandora. You can pick whichever one you want to subscribe so it comes on a regular basis. This social thing where I do the live video, I'm going to you know do that as long as it's interesting, but not all days have I had the haircut or is the office clean or that type of thing. If you want to make sure all the good content comes, make sure you are subscribed to the podcast. For those of you who've been watching live, thank you. It's fun to have an audience and it gives you that certain sense of adrenaline that you don't get elsewhere. Thank you much. Have a great day. Bye.